Hi, in this screencast we're going to look at editing pages. Now, I think you did ask me to use the translations page as an example for this, and there was a slight problem with that because um, it's locked. So I thought I'd just tell you what to do if you ever see that. The system has a underlying mechanism for preventing two people from editing the same page at once. So it puts in this little lock. Um, sometimes I put, it, it, the lock, by mistake, stays on after somebody has stopped editing the page. And if that's the case, that person needs to log out in order to clear all the locks. Uh, so if you ever see it and you need to edit the page, what you need to do is to get, in this case, Larissa to log in and log back out again. That's the sort of thing can happen if, if you, for example, if you if you're editing a page and you close the browser without logging out first, that's the sort of time it can happen. Anyway, I thought I would use a different section just to show you how uh, the uh, page editor works. What we're going to be looking at here is adding links to external websites, to other pages on the site, and to documents. So we'll add a page, uh, just to have one test page to work with. So I'll just insert a bit of uh, text there. Uh, so link to um, external website. Uh, we have link to internal page link to document upload. So select the text you want to be clickable and click the insert a link button. Type the URL in here. Whatever it is that you want. And you can have the tooltip hover text in there, and you can click a link to make it sure, make it open in a new window or tab, and click insert. Link to internal page. It's the same method, select the text, you've got to highlight the text first, first, click link to a local page, and here you will see the tree structure of the website. Um, select, find the page that you want, and click it, uh, and that automatically inserts a tooltip. Um, for a document that you've previously uploaded, then it's again a similar method, uh, similar tree structure, except in the case of the consort website, the document uploads folder is actually called the downloads, and we use that within the resources section. So anything you upload here can be displayed on the website in that section. Um, but you, you can make a link to it here by selecting them, just like linking to an internal website. If you want to upload a new document, you click here and browse from your computer. Um, not uploading anything just now. And the an important thing there is to choose which folder to place it in, um, because otherwise you, you can forget. It can be difficult for people to find. Um, so I won't, I'll just uh, select one of those. Um, okay, so that was links.